Hello everybody, welcome to our channel Electrical Technology and Industrial Practice. So as you can see that this is the second episode of substation equipment video and ninth part of the substation design video. So in the previous video we have discussed uh, a few uh, substation equipment and in this video we will be going to discuss about some other uh, substation equipment. Okay, so let's begin the video. Okay, so in the previous video, we have discussed five number of substation equipment. So in this video, we will be starting from number six, that is voltage transformer, which is also known as potential transformer, VT or PT. Okay, so what is its function? Just like current transformer, it is also another instrument transformer. It steps down the line to line voltage to a uh, suitable voltage uh, that is suitable for relay or uh, our meters and it is used for measurement or protection purpose okay so there are uh, a few types of pt uh, number one is conventional electromagnetic type and number two is captive voltage transformer or cvt i will be making separate video on this okay and uh, this is uh, current transformer is installed on uh, sorry voltage transformer is installed on feeder side of the circuit breaker that means uh, for incoming line generally it is uh, you uh, uh, installed for incomer bus coupler and, and bus bar so for incomer it is installed at from where the incoming power is coming before the circuit breaker okay so so that we can check that whether the power has reached come or not whether the line is alive or dead okay so this is how the pt is installed okay so our next equipment is circuit breaker i have already made a separate video on circuit breaker you can check that video for details so circuit breakers function is to close or open the circuit under normal as well as fault condition okay circuit breaker can operate under both the condition and quenching of arc during the isolation of circuit uh, is the main purpose of the uh, circuit breaker okay so when the circuit is isolation there is an arc so the circuit breaker medium shall be suitable to quench the arc or to extinguish the arc and based on the arc quenching medium the circuit breakers are named okay so uh, sf6 circuit breaker vacuum circuit breaker or vcb air circuit breaker or acb mocb or minimum oil circuit breaker ocb or oil circuit breaker these are some kind uh, type of circuit breaker which which are used okay uh, between which mocb and ocb are obsolete nowadays acb is used for lb vcb is used for mb system that is 3.3 uh, kb 6.6 kb 11 kb 33 kb etc sf6 circuit breaker is used for 33 kb and above okay and there is another circuit breaker which i have uh, forgot to write that is air blast circuit breaker that is also used for high voltage uh, extra high voltage switch yard okay outdoor switch yard so that is also rarely used for extra high voltage nowadays sf6 has been uh, found to be the most reliable and most used circuit breaker okay so let us check the next uh, equipment okay so our next equipment is power and distribution transformer it is basically heart of a substation okay so its function is to transfer the desired amount of power at a desired voltage level by stepping up or stepping down the voltage okay so transformer has two uh, component one is the power that is rated in kva or mba and the other is the voltage ratio so it converts voltage from one level to another and transfers a certain amount of power okay now this power or distribution this category depends on its rating okay generally all the lt transformers that means which are having secondary of 433 volt or 690 volt are called distribution transformer and its rating is limited to 3.15 mba for the transformers having secondary of 433 volt and for 690 volt it is 5 to 7 mba okay and this can be oil filled type this can be dry type and large transformer which handles bulk amount of power are called power transformer and these are generally oil filled okay uh, dry type power transformers are very rare so this is the classification of transformer okay so our next equipment is shunt reactor which is also known as bus reactor because it is connected with the bus bar it is connected with the substation bus bar that is why it is also called bus reactor okay so its function is to counter the Ferranti effect 
uh, in uh, EHV system. So what is Ferranti effect? Ferranti effect is when uh, there is a long transmission line with uh, uh, underloaded or no loaded long transmission line. So they are the uh, uh, receiving end voltage increases from the sending end voltage due to capacitance effect. So this is the Ferranti effect. So to counter the Ferranti effect uh, in the power plant switch yard, the sun reactors are used. Okay. So these reactors absorb some of the uh, reactive power and it's uh, maintain the voltage as per the desired level. And uh, it is usually oil filled, gapped core and unswitched. Okay. So now we will check the next equipment which is shunt capacitor. Okay, so shunt capacitor is used for controlling the lagging power factor, counter the lagging power factor, okay. So, uh, what happened that in distribution substation, it is mainly used in distribution substation or uh, load center substation. So, where due to large inductive load, for example, induction motor, when the power factor reduces, power factor falls, so the shunt capacitors are used to deliver the reactive power locally so that it improves the power factor. It is also used in receiving substation, but mainly used in distribution substation and load center substation. Okay. And these capacitor banks are rated from 415 volt to 132 kV. And precise switching is required okay, between the banks, between the segment of each banks to maintain the proper power factor. Because suppose there are 10 number of motors okay, which are contributing, which are drawing a certain amount of reactive power and making uh, the system power factor uh, poor. Now, it can happen that due to process requirement, there are 5 number of motors are operating, there are 8 number of motors are operating, or there are 10 numbers of motors are operating, okay. So, our power factor uh, correction device, that is the capacitor, shunt capacitor should be designed for uh, 10 number of capacitor, but it shall have the capacity to reduce itself, uh, reduce the capacitance so that when the 5 motors are operating, then also it is does not overcompensate or uh, uh, make the bus bar voltage higher okay so here the precise switching is required switching operation is required so these are the the another five uh, equipment used in substation so in the next video i will be discussing on other other equipments i hope you have enjoyed up to this portion so please like share comment and subscribe to our channel and please hit the bell icon to get uh, latest notifications of our video thank you very much for watching this video